in this presentation, we want to take a, a closer look at the slopes and the slope elements and what are the processes that occur along each of these slope elements, the crest, the free face or cliff, the talus and pediment. So let's put this into context. Here we're seeing a landscape, horizontal feature, and now let's simplify by making it into a uh, field sketch. And now on the field sketch, we notice what happens. From the cliff, we get materials broken down. They fall onto the tailor slope. They come to rest there, and as they move, they move by gravity. So gravity pulls them down the slope. Some particles bump into each other, and then they move down the slope because of that, and they become smaller in size. And so what are the slope elements? The crest the cliff, the talus, and then in the foreground where we see the vegetation, that is the pediment slope. Now let's now look at each of these slopes individually. Let's start off with the crest. The crest has got a convex shape, so it's a rounded shape. So what happens is this, that if we get any rainfall or sheet wash that occurs along it, notice how in the animation the particles are moved. And so can you see, because it's got that convex shape, it creates it a rounded feature like that. The next feature we want to look at is to look at what happens along the cliff face. Now when we look at the animation here we see how the cliff face has got joints and it's along those joints that weathering takes place. So in the form of block disintegration so rocks fall down as rock fall onto the base of the uh, cliff face onto the tailor slope. And then notice what happens as these rocks fall down they smash into each other so they'll have a jagged shape. But what effect does this have on the cliff face? Can you see now the cliff face retreats? And so in this way then we see a change of the cliff face and those are the processes that are associated with the cliff itself. Next we move on to the tailor slope. Now we recall from the previous slide that the materials then fall down onto the tailor slope so they roll along. As they roll along they become a bit more rounded then they bounce into each other and bump into each other and when they bump into each other they can cause them to move and as you see now in the animation as they move when they bounce into one another and bump into one another they become smaller in size until eventually as they roll down the slope you'll find that right at the bottom of the tailor slope you get the finest material materials. This then brings us to the final slope element and that's the pediment. And so on the pediment you've got fine materials so if you get rainfall or water flowing there you're going to get sheet wash or soil erosion. As you see in the animation now any water would move the particles along the slope so even though the slope has got a very low angle what happens is this that the material is moved along by sheet wash or if there's water that what can happen is this the water then can loosen the soil from its parent rock and so therefore you can get soil creep. So then in revision what do we notice? Soil creep occurs along the crest and also sheet wash. The cliff has got a rock fall that occurs there from the joints that are in the resistant rock and so those rocks fall down onto the tailor slope and then what happens on the tailor slope materials get rolled down, bounce against each other but also we get earth flow and we could also get soil creep along that slope and then finally along the sediment all that fine material then gets pushed along the pediment slope either by soil creep or by sheet wash.